We are proud to announce our newest and largest investment to date with Pacton Gold, listed on the TSX Venture under the ticker PAC. In this video presentation, we will be making forward-looking statements. Please refer to our website, www.goldspot.ca, and our corporate presentation for more information. Pursuant to the terms of a service partnership with Pacton Gold, we have acquired a 0.5% net smelter return royalty on Pacton Gold's Red Lake property located in Ontario. Furthermore, we've been granted the option to purchase an additional 0.5% net smelter return royalty on the Red Lake property for the purchase price of $1 million and a 0.5% net smelter return royalty on all the current claims comprising Pacton's Australia portfolio of assets for the purchase price of $1 million. We have agreed to participate in a financing of Pacton Gold for the aggregate amount of $1 million and have entered into a services agreement to which we will provide services on, and related to, the evaluation and identification of possible mineral and drill targets on the Red Lake property for a period of 18 months. Welcome to Red Lake, home to one of the most prolific and profitable gold camps, producing over 30 million ounces of high-grade gold from 28 mines and currently sitting on over 50 million ounces of gold resources. The Red Lake camp was previously Gold Corp's bread and butter. Cash flow from the mine facilitated unprecedented growth, allowing the company to snowball against its peers and to ultimately sell itself to Newmont Mining this year. Many theories are currently floating around with where to find gold and what criteria one requires for a chance to find gold in the district. One thing that all geologists can agree on in the camp is that structure, or the faults and fractures in the rock, played a critical role in creating the plumbing system that allowed for gold-rich fluids to be injected through the rocks and form high-grade gold deposits. The camp has been extensively researched by academic and industry experts alike. Thus, Red Lake's complex mineralization regime has been thoroughly investigated, and the chemistry and ages of the rocks and mineralizing events have been documented multiple times in multiple places. Within this research, we have conflicts and agreements among the experts across the board. To simplify our investment thesis on Pact and Gold, we explore in generalizations what we have been paying attention to in the camp and explain a bit about why we made Pact and Gold our largest investment to date. Red Lake can be divided into two major rock assemblages, the Balmer assemblage to the north and the Confederation assemblage to the south. These are divided by an unconformity because rocks have distinctly different ages, 2.9 billion years for the north and 2.75 to 2.8 billion years to the south. The events that injected gold into this area significantly post-state the deposition of both rock assemblages. Traditionally, it was thought that the Balmer assemblage was the key to discovery, and hence why many subsequent discoveries were made in the Balmer assemblage. Confirmation bias, perhaps? We're not sure, but one thing is certain. Thanks to Great Bear Resources and their recent discoveries at Dixie, the Confederation rocks to the south are open for business in a very big way. The Great Bear discovery outlines mineralization in rocks that have traditionally been underexplored. Historically, gold in Red Lake was thought to be concentrated in ultramafic suites along D2 structures, primarily within the Balmer assemblage. Great Bear's discovery is situated along D2 structures and hosted within both mafic and felsic rocks in the Confederation assemblage. In addition to identifying ultramafic units within the Confederation assemblage itself, this model opens up brand new potential within the Confederation assemblage. Great Bear is defying the old laws of exploration in Red Lake through discovery, which we think is incredibly exciting, and the market agrees. Great Bear Resources is one of the few explorers in depressed gold markets generating incredible value for its shareholders. At Goldspot, we're always in search for great and undervalued opportunities. Thus, we've chosen to invest $1 million into a little-known company called Pact and Gold. We believe there's tremendous potential for discovery to be made. 
Pacton has a tremendous land package, strategically positioned south of the unconformity in the Confederation assemblage. Its neighbors include Pure Gold and Premier Gold to the west, Gold Corp to the north, and Great Bear to the southeast. With nearly 360 degrees of surrounding discoveries, we believe there is a good chance that gold-rich fluids pass through Pacton's land package. Now it will be about isolating the right rocks and structures to find an economic deposit. Despite being, in majority, covered by a thin layer of glacial till, Confederation Rocks presents an exceptional opportunity within one of the world's most prolific mining districts. Pacton has the right area code, rocks, structure, management team, and now the technology to piece together the puzzle that will hopefully result in a discovery. A new mag survey by Pacton indicates the proper structural setting is present for Great Bear-style gold mineralization. Furthermore, first and second order faults in the mafic rocks that are on Pacton's property are comparable to Great Bear's. Together with Pacton, we will undergo a thorough regional analysis, stitching and leveling and reinterpreting the available geophysical, geochemical, and structural data in the public domain and marrying it with Pacton's own data, bringing it all together and using machine learning to identify patterns and hopefully predict areas that have the right fingerprints to find more Dixies, or maybe something even different. We're thrilled about this investment, and we hope our efforts will fuel new discoveries in the camp. The industry needs more discovery and great success stories like Great Bear Resources. Pacton provides additional value with its Australian assets, which we have the option to purchase at a 0.5% NSR on. Pacton Gold Inc. is the third largest landholder in the Pilbara Creighton, home to Novo Resources Corp's flagship asset. Pacton's strategy is to explore the Pilbara for alluvial and orogenic gold deposits. To date, geological data and target inventories are being compiled for Pacton's projects in Western Australia's Pilbara Creighton. Numerous target types have been identified, most with surface gold occurrences. Pacton Gold is our fourth investment to date. We still have much more bandwidth to invest our capital and deploy our team of geologists and data scientists to help explorers with their geological data to ultimately make a discovery. We continue to be value-added investors and a unique source of capital in a depressed resource market. For any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Our contact information can be found on our website, www.goldspot.ca, or on this slide. Thank you for watching.